Kathy Ireland was an American model who rose to prominence in the 1980s, primarily for her appearances in 13 consecutive editions of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue, gracing the cover in three of them. She began her career at 17 when she was discovered by an agent from Elite Model at her school. Besides modeling, she also dabbled in acting, featuring in several films and television shows such as Alien from L.A., Melrose Place, and Mr. Destiny. Pamela Anderson, born in 1967 in Canada, is an actress, model, and media personality who became famous for her work in Playboy magazine and the TV series Baywatch. By 2001, she had reached the peak of her career, having appeared in numerous films, TV shows, and advertising campaigns. She was also known for her romantic relationships, particularly with musician Tommy Lee, with whom she had two children. Before facing the half-million-strong crowd at the Woodstock Festival in 1969, Janis Joplin grabbed a bottle of Southern Comfort and poured herself a glass of the liquor. She took a sip, feeling the warmth of the drink down her throat, and geared up to deliver a memorable performance. Monique Van Voren, a Belgian actress, poses for a promotional photo for the horror film Flesh for Frankenstein, released in 1973. She portrays Baroness Katrin Frankenstein, the wife and incestuous sister of Baron Frankenstein, a scientist obsessed with creating a perfect race of humans from corpse parts. Alexandra Bastido was a British actress who rose to fame for portraying secret agent Sharon McCready in the spy-fi series The Champions, aired between 1968 and 1969. Besides acting, she was dedicated to animal rights advocacy and writing books on the subject. She was fluent in several languages, including Italian, Spanish, French, and German, and even worked as a translator for the British government. Additionally, she hosted Miss World contests in the 1980s. Adrienne Barbeau was an American actress and writer who stood out in the 1970s for her roles in theater and TV. She played the character Rizzo in the original Broadway production of the musical Grease and found success as Carol Trainer, the divorced daughter of Maude Findlay, portrayed by B. Arthur, in the comedy series Maude in 1972. Vivian Lee was a British actress born in India, back when the country was still a colony of the British Empire, in 1913. She excelled both in theatre and cinema, starring in plays by renowned authors such as Noel Coward, George Bernard Shaw, and William Shakespeare. She was also married to the famous actor and director Laurence Olivier, with whom she appeared in several projects. In cinema, she won two Oscars for Best Actress, one for her role as Scarlett O'Hara in the classic. Loretta Young, whose birth name was Gretchen Young, was an American actress who began her career in silent films in 1917, when she was just four years old. She appeared in over a hundred films, including The Farmer's Daughter, 1947, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. In 1934, the year this photo was taken, she starred in the film The White Parade. Anne Margaret Olsen, better known as Anne Margaret, is a Swedish-American actress, singer, and dancer who began her career in 1961. By 1965, she had already appeared in several successful films, such as Viva Las Vegas, alongside Elvis Presley and The Cincinnati Kid, with Steve McQueen. She also voiced an animated version of herself, called Anne Margrock, in the television series The Flintstones. Her contralto voice and sensual style earned her the nickname Female Elvis Presley. Sophia Loren, the famous Italian actress, starred in the film Boy on a Dolphin, released in 1957. This was her first English-language film, and also the first Hollywood film shot in Greece. In the movie, she plays a poor diver who discovers a valuable artifact and becomes entangled in a conflict between two men, one who wants to sell the treasure, and another who wants to donate it to Greece. Mylene de Mongeau was a French actress and writer who appeared in over 100 films in French, Italian, English, and Japanese over seven decades. She began her career as one of the blonde sex symbols of French cinema in the 1950s and 1960s but explored various film genres including suspense, western comedy, adventure, period drama, and even peplum. Barbie Benton, whose real name is Barbara Lynn Klein, was born in 1950 in New York, United States. She started modeling at the age of 16 and, at 18, was hired by Playboy magazine to participate in the entertainment program Playboy After Dark. It was on this show that she met the magazine's founder, 
Hugh Hefner, with whom she had a romantic relationship for several years. Morgan Fairchild was an American actress who rose to prominence on television in the 1980s. She began her career in the 1970s, appearing in soap operas such as Search for Tomorrow and Dallas. In 1980, she landed a leading role in the series Flamingo Road, earning her a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress in a Drama Series. She also appeared in other famous series, such as North and South, Paper Dolls, and Falcon Crest. Kira Knightley is a British actress and model who gained fame for her roles in period films and the Pirates of the Caribbean series. On July 16, 2003, she graced the cover of Vanity Fair, a women's magazine covering topics such as fashion, beauty, culture, and behavior. In the interview, she discussed her career, future projects, personal life, and her views on fame and the film industry. Tiffany Amber Thiessen is an American actress who rose to fame for her roles in two 1990s television series. She portrayed Kelly Kapowski, a popular and friendly student, in the comedy Saved by the Bell, which aired on NBC from 1989 to 1993 and spawned several spin-offs. Later, she changed her image and played Valerie Malone, a troubled and manipulative young woman, in the drama Beverly Hills. Linda Darnell was an American film actress who starred in various 20th Century Fox movies in the 1940s. In 1943, she appeared in two notable films, City Without Men, a drama about prisoners' wives, and The Song of Bernadette, a biopic of the Catholic saint, where she made a brief appearance as the Virgin Mary. Linda Darnell was known for her beauty and talent, but also faced personal and professional challenges. Gloria Talbot was an American actress who appeared in films and television in the 1950s. She began her career as a child, appearing in films such as Maytime, 1937, Sweet and Lowdown, 1944, and A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, 1945. She attended Glendale High School and won the Miss Glendale Beauty Pageant in 1947. After her first marriage, she paused her career but resumed acting after her divorce. Marlene Dietrich was a German actress and singer who became a Hollywood star in the 1930s. In 1935, she starred in the film The Devil is a Woman, directed by Joseph von Sternberg, her artistic partner and lover. In this film, she portrayed Concha Perez, a seductive Spanish woman who plays with the feelings of two men, Officer Don Pascual, Lionel Atwill, and revolutionary Antonio Galvin, Cesar Romero. The film was considered bold and scandalous at the time. Marilyn Monroe was one of the most famous Hollywood stars of the 1950s. She appeared in several successful films, including The Seven-Year Itch, directed by Billy Wilder. In this film, she played a model who becomes involved with a married man. One of the most iconic scenes in cinema shows Marilyn standing over a subway grate, her white dress billowing in the wind. This scene was filmed in New York, on Lexington Avenue, and attracted a large crowd of spectators. Cameron Diaz was an American actress who began her film career in 1994 with the comedy The Mask. In 1995, she appeared in four independent films, playing different and challenging characters. In The Last Supper, she portrayed Jude, one of five liberal students who invite extremist conservatives for dinner and end up killing them. In Feeling Minnesota, she was Freddie Clayton, a bride who runs away with her husband's brother. In 1952, Photographer Jock Carroll accompanied actress Marilyn Monroe during the filming of Niagara, a romantic thriller directed by Henry Hathaway. Carroll captured several images of Monroe in natural and relaxed moments, showcasing her beauty and charisma. These photos became famous for revealing a more authentic and spontaneous side of the Hollywood star. Julie Newmar, born in Los Angeles in 1933, was an actress, dancer, and singer who excelled in various roles in theater, film, and television. In 1956, she participated in the Broadway musical Ziegfeld Follies, where she showcased her talent and beauty. She also became famous for portraying the villain Catwoman in the Batman series in the 1960s. Besides her artistic career, she invented nylon stockings and was a successful entrepreneur in real estate. Betty Page was an American model who became famous in the 1950s for her pinup and fetish photos. She was often called the Queen of Pinups, for her distinctive style, which included long black hair with bangs, blue eyes, and a seductive smile. She posed for various photographers and magazines, becoming one of the first Playmates of Playboy in January 1955. After years of anonymity, 
She regained recognition in the 1980s. Stephanie Seymour was one of the most famous supermodels of the 1980s and 1990s. She appeared in several editions of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue and on the cover of Vogue, besides being one of the first Victoria's Secret models. She also posed for Playboy, wrote a book on beauty tips, and participated in clothing and cosmetics advertising campaigns. She had a brief acting career, appearing in a movie, a TV series, and a video game. Victoria Principal was an American actress who became famous for portraying Pamela Barnes Ewing on the television series Dallas from 1978 to 1987. She was born in Fukuoka, Japan in 1950, the daughter of a U.S. Air Force sergeant and a homemaker. She traveled the world with her family, studying at various schools, including the Royal Ballet School in London. She began her artistic career appearing in TV commercials at the age of five.